Good morning, Ruby citizens, and happy Wednesday. It is Wednesday yet again, which means we are in the middle of the work week, which means we only have two more days to work, and then the weekend is here, unless you work the weekend. Either way, the weekend will be here. So before I jump into my topic today, I just have two things to share with you all. The first thing, the most important thing is I want to wish my Nana a happy, heavenly birthday she would have been 101 years old today so nana we love you and we miss you dearly and so other than that what else was i going to share with you all mm -mm -mm. oh y'all guess what i'm feeling in a jurassic park kind of mood okay hence the reason why bam look at that i can't i guess you all can see that i can't block the sun oh yeah here we go you see the Jurassic Park. So yes, yeah, so I was looking at the trailer for the new Jurassic World Dominion, I believe it is, movie clip is coming out June the 22nd maybe? I know it's June and I will be there. I will risk the, the thought of getting COVID to go see this movie. Anyway, let's jump into today's topic because today's topic is very near and dear to me and uh, it is restore your life's purpose. Can I say that one more time? Restore your life's purpose. Now, before I jump all, all the way into my topic, I just want to say the foundation that I'm wearing today is by Maybelline Fit Me. It's in the color 360, which is mocha. And I'm really loving it. Now, interesting enough, I'm wearing Maybelline. It's the liquid foundation, but the powder that I use to set it is by black opal so uh go figure that one but anyway so joshua 1 and 9 says have i not commanded you be strong and courageous do not be afraid come on now let me say that one more time do not be afraid do not be discouraged for the lord your god will be with you wherever you go I'll make sure I put that scripture in the description box because this is a scripture that I need you all to get into your spirit, okay? Now, this is the NIV version. The King James version reads just a little, a little different, but it still is the same meaning. Now, this quote that I want to share with you is by Les Brown, and he says, expect things to get better for you because they are. I'm going to say that one more again because somebody blinked too fast and you missed it. He said, expect things to get better for you because they are. Do you hear what I'm saying? See, life is cycling. Whatever experience you are having right now, it has not come to stay. It has come to pass. I definitely have to repeat that. Whatever it is that you're going through right now, this very moment, it has not come to stay it has come to pass. The biggest challenge is to know that you must put things in perspective. And I could do a whole video talking about putting things in perspective. This next quote is by Bishop T.D. Jakes and he says, don't deviate, don't procrastinate, don't become frustrated. All you have to do to win this battle is stay on track. I need to repeat that because somebody missed it. He said, don't deviate, don't procrastinate, don't become frustrated. All you have to do to win this battle is to stay on track. I don't know who needs to hear this. I need you to stay on track. You've gotten frustrated, you've deviated. Instead of going down that straight and narrow path, you done took a detour to the left or to the right, or you made an about face and did a U-turn, but I need you to stay on track. And, and also think about this. This was just a side note I made for myself. Where there is a will, honey, there is always a way. Do, do you all understand that fully? Where there is a will, there is a way. And this next quote is by Les Brown again. He says, if you are going to move, you have to clear your mind of any unnecessary baggage. Sometimes your life will be in a slump and you can either let it destroy your life or you can build upon it. We all have experienced some setbacks. And if you haven't, just keep on living. You can either let that or those things hold you down 
or tell yourself, I am bigger than this and I will not let it hold me down. Mm. No matter what you are facing, don't stop working your plan. Hopefully you have a plan. You should have a plan. I'm going to err on the side of caution and say you do have a plan. So no matter what it looks like, no matter what it feels like, no matter what someone told you, keep working your plan. Stop getting frustrated. Stop deviating. Stay on track. And Hebrews 11. Uh, there's two, there's two scripture, two chat, uh, two verses. I'm sorry, in Hebrews 11 that I want to share with you. And I want you to read the whole thing, but these two, I definitely want you to get. And that is verse number one. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for. And most of y'all know this one. For the evidence of things not seen. And then verse number six says, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. So I'll put those two scriptions, uh, scriptions, those two verses in the description box. The entire chapter one, just so you know, of Hebrews talks about faith. So please make sure you read that, okay? Now, here's something I want you to think about. When you have faith, you can't settle in life. Do you understand what I'm saying? When faith won't allow you to just settle. Too many people are settling for less than what God promised them. They have decided it is easier to just make do with what they currently have, i.e. settle for less than what you really deserve. I need you, starting today, to refuse to settle. I know it's easy to do, but you have to decide that you want more out of life. It may take longer and you may have to take a few detours here and there, but don't you dare settle. Your life has many... What is... See, I sometimes cannot read my own writing. I said something about your life has some... Oh, your life has meaning and it has, has a purpose. So get up and get back on track now. So on that note, I'm going to drive because I need to get me a blueberry muffin and a sweet tea don't judge me because i don't judge you but again we're talking about restoring your life's purpose and just for the few minutes that we have to spare i just want to talk about having the faith because the problem that i see with a lot of people is they don't have faith and i'm gonna tell y'all a little story without naming any names i was talking to someone recently and they, we were talking about doing videos and the individual said that they were afraid, they were nervous. And I said, well, the only way to get over being nervous is to just hit the record button and start talking. When people ask me, how did I become comfortable with doing videos? I just tell them the truth. I just hit the record button and I started talking. Now, the first time I did a video for my YouTube channel, it took me 25, 26 tries. The 26th, the 26th try is when I got it right. And that was because I was so busy trying to make sure that it was perfect. I didn't want any ums. I didn't want, want a whole bunch of filler words. And so if I did, I said, up, oh, delete, delete, delete. And I just kept deleting. And then finally, I started saying to myself, Michelle, look, it's taking you too long to get these videos done. Your videos don't have to be perfect. You know, I don't want a video that's full of a bunch of filler words because to be honest with you, that is so annoying to me. But I get it, you know, it's, it's something that you have to truly be conscious of so that you can work on not doing it as often. But then I thought, well, you know what, as long as the people are getting the meaning of what I'm trying to share with them, then I'm doing okay. My, my video does not have to be perfect. People are not looking for perfection. They wanna know how is what you're saying helpful to them. So I said all of that to say this, that when you are challenged with something or there's something that you wanna do, don't allow fear to keep you from doing it because what happens is when, when you do that, you start to settle. 
you say, okay, well, you know what, Lord, I know there's more for me. I know you have more for me. I know I was called to do more, however, and because I'm afraid. And you're afraid for various reasons. I understand that. But I'm more afraid, the older I get, the, the, the more wiser I become. Well, I'm going to say this. It's not even that so much. It's the fact that every day, I think I become a little more wiser than I was the day before. Every week, I become a little more wiser than I was the week before. Every month, every year, so forth and so on. I become a little more wiser than I was before. And what I've come to understand is I am more afraid of being average. I am more afraid of settling for less than what I know I deserve. That's just like people who know they deserve a good man or a good woman, but you settle for whatever you have because you are afraid that you won't meet anybody else. Well, don't you know that if God sent that person in your life that's not the right person for you, excuse me, you guys, that he will if you just wait on the Lord. Ooh, what does the Bible say? Be of good courage, wait on the Lord. He will send you the right person. So I need you to decide today that you are going to stop settling and truly go after that which has been promised to you. One of the things that I do know is that God is not a man that he should lie. And he is not going to tell you in his word that he has nothing but great things for you, but then not fulfill whatever that thing is that that he has has designed for you so y'all yeah, reached my destination but i don't want to i want to finish this up before i pull in through the drive through so again i just want you all as you go through your day i want you to tell yourself that you are going to start to restore your life's purpose. You have a purpose for your life. Do you realize that? I don't know what that purpose is for you. I know what my purpose is, but whatever the purpose is for you, I need you to restore it. I need you to restore your faith. I need you to stop tearing yourself down. I need you to stop telling yourself what you can't do and get out there and make it happen. Because at the end of the day, at the end of the day, when your back is pushed against the wall, guess what? You'd be surprised at what you can accomplish. But I don't want your back to be pushed against the wall for you to do that. I want you to just get out there, restore your faith, and do that which God has called you to do. God has given you an assignment. He has given me an assignment. We have an assignment. And I need you to restore your life's purpose and complete that assignment. Do you understand what I'm saying? And make sure you read Joshua 1 and 9. Make sure you also read Hebrews 11 verses 1 and 6. The whole chapter, really, but specifically, I want you to focus on chapter on verses 1 and 6, okay? So make sure you do that. And uh, your takeaway, as I gave it to you, I'll just do a recap and I'm going to let you be. I said, when you have faith, you can't settle in life. Too many people are settling for less than what God has promised them. They've decided it's easier to just make do with what they currently have, i.e. settling for less than what they deserve. I said you need, start, uh, you need starting today to refuse to settle. I know it's easy to do, but it's not, I'm sorry, it's not easy to do, but you have to decide that you want more out of life. It may take longer and you may have to take a few detours here and there, but don't you dare settle. Your life has many, uh, has meaning and it has a purpose. So get up and get back on track. If you've gotten off track for whatever reason, I need you to get back on track. You guys, that's my time. If you're new to watch my videos, I want to say welcome and thank you for joining me. If this is not your first rodeo, I want to say welcome back. I missed you guys. Y'all know the drill. You know my spiel. I love each and every one of you to the moon and back. And there is nothing, and I mean absolutely nothing, that you can do about it. Because I'm going to love you anyhow. I believe in you. Don't let me be the only one that's believing in you. You need to believe in you even if nobody else does. I always tell people, it's great that I have so many people that believe in me. I appreciate that. But at the end of the day, do you realize that if nobody believed in me but me, I'm all right with that? Because I'm always going to believe in me. 
So go out there, fulfill your life's purpose, get your life back on track. You are amazing and great things are going to come from you if you stop settling. Until Friday's Car Conversation, you guys take care.